Can y'all hear me now? Having a little trouble. You can hear me now? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Check it out. only do I have the phone number I know exactly where the little fucker's staying at oh I've already got people working on it Recap. Oh, I made a little deal with Josh. Gave him something. And I got what I wanted. give you all the details as of yet but you will get the details soon no Josh was bankrolling him until he was bankrolling him until uh, let's just say I know how to let some of Josh's family know about some things So Josh quickly changed his little song. He was happy to do a song and dance. Why he was doing it? Well, I think Jimmy has uh, got something over over Josh's head. But I've got a little something over Josh's head. It's probably a little bigger than what Jimmy had. So, Jimmy, I know exactly where you're at. And you can tell I know your phone number. So, hope you enjoy this video. Yeah, he's got something over Josh, but I got a few more things over Josh that's bigger. No, they don't know quite everything, but, well, he can change his number all he wants, but um, the authorities now know exactly what, mo what motel he's staying at, what room number he's in, and a few other things. So, so, uh. Oh, yeah, I wasn't supposed to let y'all know about this. That was one of the deals I made with Josh. But, you know, huh, darn. I have my fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, no, he's not in the city with the B anymore, but... Um, let's just see where he ends up now. I have a feeling they're going to be out of Georgia in the next 24 to 48 hours, if they can get out quick enough. <sighs> I 
but what's the 304? I don't know. That's one thing I don't know. Hang on. Let me look at something. Because the phone number he's got goes to P-E-S-C-A-D-E-R-O, California. Pescado, California. It's a 650 area code. You lost your account. What? Why? Pescado. P E S C A R P E S C A D E R O Pescado. Six five oh area code. So anyway. Oh, Jimmy. Don't you just hate it when I can afford to pay for things? Uh, yes, Josh is bankrolling it. Well, was bankrolling everything. Um, so... When did the scope start? Oh, just a few moments ago. There's a few police officers looking to talk to Josh, but they're in Pennsylvania. But I think this is amazing. Someone recap. Josh has sold Jimmy out to me. I'm not going to give you all the phone number. But Josh this afternoon has sold Jimmy out to me. It is amazing, isn't it? I'm not going to say how much. I'm not going to say how much, but I got what I needed. Hi, this is Jim Soroka of Peace. Please leave a message after the tone. Thanks. What I get for my money, a phone number, exact location to where he's staying, and a few other things. So, very good score. So anyway, folks, hope all y'all enjoyed this little broadcast. Have you gone to interview with yet? With who? <laughs> uh, no, this doesn't have to do with that. This has nothing to do with porn. This has to do with, oh, I found a few of Josh's family members and other things that other people that I could have reached out to and sent a whole bunch of stuff to.
Hey, how you doing? No, he's not setting me up. <laughs> oh, in the start of the video, I'm, I was watching a TV show when I called it. That's the voice you hear in the background. Do I have what yet? Interview with who? think black metal and god is okay uh jimmy's not a god oh i've already talked to josh no jimmy had been on all day today but i've already got what i needed and the authorities have what they need so I'll spill the tea soon enough. You guys have a good Sunday night. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. <laughs> I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Um... Oh, this is definitely for real. <laughs> I don't care what Josh does with the money. He can do whatever he wants with it. Well, there's really nothing else I can tell you at this point. I can't tell you anything until stuff happens. And then as stuff happens, if I can tell you, I'll tell you. But I promise you, I promise my Periscope family, I will keep you updated. Oh, it involves Kate, too. Because, uh... Kate's mom and dad now know exactly where she's staying at. What motel, what room. They know now as well. So, you kids have a wonderful night. I messaged, I messaged mom. I didn't call her or anything. And I sent them a message. So they know. And I think they were going to be booking flights right away. So. Thank God he's on the. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you guys are the last ones to know this time. I got in touch with the major people first, so you guys are the last to know. I 
I don't think you warned him. Because if he did, what I have that could go to Josh's family could be really horrible for him. No, I'm not trying to stir up shit. The red tote video, that's funny. <laughs> More like a red tote with some cash in it. <laughs> You're just a straight up stalker. <laughs> Think what you must. But we'll see what happens in the next few days. Hey, Prairie Cat, how are you? Glad to see you. But the rest of you, have a wonderful night. Oh, purple. How did that happen? Green, blue. Well, I'm hoping Jimmy hears this. And there would be only one person I could get his phone number from. So that should tell him right there I talked to Josh. And if I was if I was where he was at, I would roll up and knock on his door. And I would scope it. In fact, maybe I'll have somebody else do it. Let him go live. I want it. We're expecting him to go live anyway. No, I'm not working with Jimmy on this. That's an old Google number. Well, it's funny. He actually answered the phone on it earlier. So, but he's not answering now. So, but he actually answered. Jimmy, Kate, y'all sit tight. Just sit tight. Hold where you're at. You'll be fine. I guarantee you'll get you'll get three meals and something to sleep on. Does the number you have end in nine? I don't know. No, it does not. Three hots and a cup. But you guys have a good night. I'm going back to watching my TV show. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.